Good morning. Frank here. Uh, today we're at uh, Mossy Knoll Garden. We had a lot of interest in the raised beds that we're doing. We're making them out of cement. And uh, a lot of people say, the first thing they see them, they really like them, but they say, looks like a lot of work. Well, we're going to go over that today, and you can see for yourself whether it is a lot of work or not. Come on in. What we're using here is a piece of 8-inch flashing. What I did was took a nail and put two little holes in the top and the bottom and put this thin piece of wire on there. Then I'm using a piece of 3 8 rebar. 3 8 is uh, nice and thin. You can cut it easily with a hacksaw. They're two foot long because I have to drive them down into the ground a bit. And it's easier to get them out if you have something to hold on to on the top. I put the, I put the initial piece of rebar into into the flashing, and then I start right over here where I left off. Need a good size hammer to put your rebar down in. Put it at the same level. Put it in. Piece of rebar. What we're doing is two foot beds, two foot paths. That way everything stays pretty standard. So I'll just measure the two feet because I'm running contours. You want it all the same. Watch not hit your hand too hard. Another piece of rebar. Put it in. Measure. repetitious work but that's good because just because it's repetitious you learn it pretty fast it doesn't take too long to become proficient at setting this up now you have your initial wall set up and you have your spacing for the Pathway. Now you take a second piece of flashing. Start at the same place. What I like to do is set them about one hand width apart at the base. Now, once you get your initial form set up, one more. then what I do, I don't want to use too much cement because it becomes expensive, so you want to fill it with rubble. All the rocks that you can find, just put into the bottom.
The more rocks, the less cement. Once you have your rocks in, then you need to start forming up your line, making it straight. So, and straight up and down, and putting it in so that it stays where it is. I like to sort of put them in, starting at an angle, and then bringing it up straight. That keeps it at the right angle. It keeps the top of your wall straight. Well, now that we have our basic wall set up, I want to take and fill the bottom with rubble and start using that as the base for when we mix the cement and put it in, we'll have a good continuous base of rubble that'll hold the whole thing together. You want to take most of your rubble and keep it toward the back or the inside of the bed so that you don't have voids uh, on the outside. You want a nice smooth uh, finish on the outside. Doesn't matter if there's a few voids or holes and things on the inside, that's where your dirt's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this bottom full of rubble and then we'll mix the cement and start putting in the wall. All right, what you need next is your handy trowel. You have your cement mix so that it'll come off, but it'll stay right on there for when you want to put it in. Not too wet, not too dry. Then with a little practice, you can just start putting it in. Remember, you have rocks all along the bottom there. So you want to make sure that each side of that rock it's filled in. I sort of like to work in sequence. I'll do a little run here. Make sure that I have all my cement to the outside where it's facing so that I don't have any big holes in there. All right, what I'm going to do is one final clear here. I'll make sure I have it all fronted. In fact, it looks like I can use a few more rocks in there before I put that top layer on. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, now I've got another layer of rocks in. This should be the last layer. I'll be able to finish it off here. Make the top all nice. Alright, get your trowel and you start smoothing it off. If you've mixed your cement right, when you run your trowel over it, like that, you should have water coming up. It'll bring the water out of the cement and up so you can have a nice smooth finish on it. You have to sort of work in between your rebar. But that's pretty easy because if you remember, you're doing it one hand wide. That's about the same size as your trowel. Make sure you have enough. It's always better to have a little too much on there because you can take and just run it down to the next section. Okay, you see how nice that finish is? It's sort of rough, it's sort of smooth, it, uh, you don't have a lot of uh, rock sticking up, things like this, so smooth it off. Remember, if you have enough water in there, that water will come right up, sit there and give you a nice smooth surface, which is great later on if you want to sit on the edge of the bed or kneel down on it, you're not having those small rocks uh, hurt your knees. So we'll just go ahead now and start the next section. Uh, I'll put in some cement and we'll do rocks, move the mud down, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, now I'm finishing off the second, the second part here. 
and let's remember to sort of keep the top if you need to adjust it bring it back forth keep these that's why you don't put them in all the ways sometimes you need to push them out sometimes you need to bring them in main thing you want to do is be able to keep your wall straight up and down as much as possible Coming around our corner here. Again, you want to keep your keep your wall nice and straight. Keep it as much as possible the same distance apart. Sometimes it's kind of hard on a curve because you're working with a straight piece of metal. So, A lot depends on how you hold your trowel also. This is an instrument that you're creating with, so hold it lightly. And use it like a, a pen or something unless you're doing a drawing or a brush if you were painting. You want to get a nice finish. Here we are connecting the two ends now. This wall ended up at a slope going down like this. So this one is filling up, coming up like this. You don't want to stop and start at a vertical angle because you'll have a seam then. This way, at least uh, the seam doesn't show as much. Again, make sure that your outside edge is nice and smooth. Just finish it off like the rest of it. Okay, my leftover cement, I'm just making these little bricks like. They're about the same size as my next wall, so I can either take and split them in parts like this, or I can just lay them down, or I can turn them sideways. Any dirt or anything that it picks up doesn't really matter, but this way at least you're not wasting your cement. The more walls you do, uh, the more you learn how much cement you're going to need for a job. That's coming out pretty close, considering. So now, clean up. Okay, there we have it. Uh, we've got our wall done. We're going to have to let this set up overnight. I'll be able to strip it off tomorrow. In the morning, I'll just come out and start taking these stakes out, pulling them away. The uh, flashing will pull right off. And then I'll be ready to put in some... Uh, weed control cloth and gravel then fill the bed and this garden will be done one of the reasons we used uh, the flashing with the uh, garden here is that we have such a slope coming down and we needed to terrace it well it's kind of hard to terrace and make curves with boards and boards tend to rot away, especially up here in the great northwest where we have a lot of moisture. So the cement will hold up over a long period of time. Uh, needless to say, it'll be here after I'm gone. So somebody else can enjoy these beds then. Maybe it'll be you.